I'm Dr. Greg with The Wellness Way. Are you somebody that finds yourself trying to go to bed at night, but yet you're unable to? Or maybe you wake up in the morning, you have plenty of hours of sleep, but you still wake up unrefreshed. Or maybe you end up waking up many times in the middle of the night. Oftentimes, many Americans are faced with sleep issues that they really don't have any reason why they, they are doing it. Unfortunately for, for these situations, there might be one very specific stress hormone to blame, and that hormone is cortisol. Now, most people associate cortisol with something like weight gain, but on the other hand, we, we're going to learn a little bit today about how that can affect your energy levels and also your sleep patterns. So cortisol is a natural stress hormone. If you're getting chased down the street by your, your neighborhood dog that you're scared of, cortisol is going to be released. It's a natural response. It's going to elevate your ability to utilize energy. It's going to heighten your senses. You can run away from this stressor. This is a normal reaction, but it's supposed to go away. As soon as that you run away from the dog or the dog goes back to the owner, the cortisol levels are supposed to drop and your stress response is supposed to drop. This only becomes an issue when this cortisol and this stress response becomes chronic. When we get chronic stress, that's when we get chronic cortisol levels and that's when sleep is affected. Now you may ask, well, what really causes a stress response and why do cortisol levels elevate? Well, stress happens because of three different things. We call them the three T's. One is thoughts, one is trauma, and one is toxins. Now, thoughts are what we typically associate with emotional stress. These could be work-related instances, stuff that goes on at home, anything that we think about on a daily basis. Trauma, these could be things from physical injuries, car accidents, abnormal posture, spinal misalignments, anything along those lines. And toxins are things that we put in our body from the outside, whether it's different food products, drinks, chemicals, or anything that comes into our body from the outside. These buildup of different stresses or these trauma thoughts and toxins are what starts to accumulate and gives our body an elevated chronic stress response. When we have chronic stress, we have chronic cortisol. Now this is once again a problem long term because what happens is our adrenal gland which produces this cortisol begins to fatigue. It can't keep up, it can't keep the foot on the gas over time. So what ends up happening is our cortisol levels and our adrenals start to shut down. And as our cortisol starts to shut down, we start to notice significant sleep problems. And the only way that we'll know if sleep is an issue based upon your cortisol levels, we need to test for it. In our office, we don't guess, we test. So we need to do a specific cortisol test to find out exactly where your levels are at. As you can see on this sheet, we have two gray lines that kind of mimic uh, what the normal pattern of cortisol is throughout the day. You can see how it starts higher in the morning, it works its way down, and it's lower at night. This is so we wake up a little bit more alert in the morning when the levels are higher, it starts to taper off, and when it's at its lowest, that's when we are able to fall asleep at night. And what you can see with this red line, this is a common pattern of somebody that has chronic stress response or chronic abnormal cortisol levels. What happens is they're starting off a little bit lower on the cortisol range in the morning. So this is somebody that wakes up having plenty of sleep and unfortunately they're exhausted and they aren't ready to take on the day. As you can see it kind of floats around the, the lower to normal range throughout the middle of the day but then at night their levels are actually elevated. And so what these elevated levels mean is you may be totally exhausted from your day but you can't fall asleep. And so if you fall somewhere in this range you've definitely got a cortisol issue and you need to get tested for it. Now really how do you affect cortisol though because cortisol is the end result. Well, we need to know about these three T's, these stressors. In our office, we do very specific testing based upon what your presentation is that will help us to know what your stressors are in your life and how to manage those stressors. So if you want to find out what your stressors are, if cortisol is an issue for you with your sleep concerns, then come into the Wellness Way and get tested.